Hello everyone, we are um, about to look at a review of a painting set I got and we're going to see what it is. It looks very nice. It's a box with uh, where you can put on your paper. Let's see what it is when we open it up. It's really looking nice, as you can see. This is paper, a lot of paper I see. Very nice. It's also, also the box is very nice. Let's see what's in it. Whoa. Very nice. It looks very good. Very pretty. Looks excellent paper. It's from Mailand. Solid watercolor pigment. So uh, pure color. And we are going to try it out. Uh, 48 colors. Let's see. What this is. Um, well, we can try out the paint, all those paints. The colors are listed on this paper. So, we can try them out and then we know what it is. Because when they're open, you can't remember what color it is. But we'll see. I'm going to try it out. And uh, I'll let you know what it is. It's really a nice box, a big box. And the papers, okay, I'm going to leave it out. And the papers, I'm going to open them. And then I'm going to use them on top of this box. We can uh, put it underneath this. And then we will uh, try out what it is. So see you. Okay. I've got the cubes out of the paper. It's a bit of work, but um, make sure everything is the same as on this paper. Then you know where the colors are. Those last ones, this is also a color palette. Those last ones look like uh, metallic um, watercolor. I don't know that because I never used it. Normally I just paint with just watercolor, but not those metallic. But uh, we'll test it out and we're gonna see what, what we can do with it. Probably with the holidays or Christmas you can use those. Let's uh, make the paper red first to see what the color is going to do. I'm gonna just use different colors and this paper is the paper from the package and this paper is Fabriano so I'm gonna see if there is any difference between the paper and if the colors are as bright as they are on both papers so let's try some colors first, maybe the yellow. I'm gonna do a bit the same. Then the yellow orange. Let's see if you take more and less water, it's always stronger. Not much of a difference over here. Maybe I need some more. Let's see. Okay. Now a bit of orange. Into it. Again. Okay. Um, 
next one you just take them one by one um, it's this one see gonna take this one the other red you have to see on the card what name it is I can take a look of course let's see that would be magenta yeah Next, don't see the lowest nut. I'm going to put it on there. Nice. Next one. Doing about the same. Paper is still wet. Okay, going to the purple. Maybe over here, but or violet. You can try out every color, of course, this way, so you can see what it is.
All right, that's it. I uh, used all the colors except uh, ones with the glitter, the metallic ones. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of water over here, so you can take it away, of course. Uh, but there's not really a lot of difference. It's uh, very bright, as you see over this. This orange, the red one, is very beautiful. Also, the yellow, very bright, poker. All colors. I do like them. Um, and all depends a bit on the paper. How wet it is. How dry you work. It's all different, of course. Um, but I can recommend it. Yes, I can. I'm gonna lose those colors a bit with water so the paint comes looser. You better put some water on it because it's difficult to get it out. Let's see. Okay. So you really have to push a bit hard or you need to give uh, every cube a drop of water so it comes loose you will not really see the glitter but see they are harder cubes are much harder so you have to loosen them well it's difficult to see that I think on a camera it's difficult I do see them and if you should work on black it should be uh, much more visible let's make a part black first like this you see the black is really black it's it's wonderful black if you really want to have black let's see so uh, maybe I can add a bit on the water let's in, in the wet paint let's see what It, it works out. Maybe I need to put the camera a bit. It's in the wet paint. It works. It's dry now. Uh, let's see with the glitters I uh, did wet the cubes first let's take some blue a very different color well that looks very nice on this paper on the black you better see the glitters in it a bit of green let's have a look yeah it's better on dry paper let's see about the gold yeah it looks good and the silver didn't loosen up too much let's see yeah. so so nice what do we have here 
the bronze, I think. Whoa, that's really nice. Yep. And the rose. Yep, it looks very good. This is the purple. It's a bit dark. I can't see it. Yeah, a little bit, yes. So, this one. Yeah, it looks very nice. Let's see if I can show you better how it is. Maybe. Yeah. You see that? It's blue. Maybe like this. And you see on the other ones, it's also really sparkling so yes i think i'm gonna use them when i make my uh, wishing cards well it's something special as you can see this this is uh, the result from uh, all the colors together in the wet paint and uh, it looks very natural. They are really lovely, the colors. The paint is uh, excellent and I will surely use it more for my next videos. Well, my opinion about this travel box from May Lian. Well, first of all, I find it very suitable to work with and very easy to take with you on the road. It's all in one. What more can we want? The color palette is very extensive. Maybe it's too much for some, but in any case, you have less to mix, which is also an advantage. The paint itself is very good. It has a lot of pigment, which makes the color very strong. You need less of it, so you can use it for longer, which makes the price very good for what you get. I must say I'm very satisfied with it, and I thank Mei Yang for letting me try out this great travel box. And I hope you also are very satisfied with my explanation about this. And I uh, see you next time. And I wish everyone a great journey in watercolor. Bye bye.